people hate destroyers, and um, I understand why, but when you get a good destroyer player on your team, it almost is just unfair for the other team, because I just had the worst destroyer player on my team. And even though the other destroyer player wasn't that great, he literally just did enough to to disrupt that battle and make it impossible for me to, to complete my mission. So, I can't stress enough, guys. If you're a destroyer player, your job is not to sail to the end of the map to get torpedoes off. Your job is to spot, seek out other destroyers. Why did it do that? Has anyone else been having some problems with the aim aiming reticle? Or is it just me? Oops. I think my sensitivity is a little too high. Look at this hero. go in here and get nice and close to this island. Got a first blood, probably arsonist or ghost shells. That's okay, we went undetected because we went close to this island here. As I've mentioned in a bunch of other videos, guys, you need to play your Cleveland very, very cautious, very smart. Um, right now, we could get absolutely blasted. Are you serious? I'm not even close to this, dude. This is so frustrating. Yep. We got kind of lucky there. You need to play your Cleveland very smart, very cautious. And uh, close to islands. Or close to cover. Whether you're running a buddy in a smokescreen destroyer. And uh, that's why I have the propulsion mod. I said it in a couple other videos, but... You gotta, that's what you gotta run. Come on, go forward now. Don't get caught playing with the throttle too much. Um, like I am here, I think I might have over. You just need the front turrets here, really. Turn in, turn in, lose all that speed. One, to defend the cap, but two, to just set fires. That's, that's kind of your goal right now. He's angled just enough to where AP shells wouldn't be doing much. Synop has a limited number of repairs. We're actually going to switch to the Sharni. Got a double fire. He should probably be putting that out soon, so as soon as he does, then we'll switch back to him. Maybe push up a position or go ahead and get this rock again. Sharn Horse made a huge mistake. We're going to try and make him pay for it. I do believe we can actually deflect his shells if we're fully angled. We're going to go ahead and push up. Yeah, we lost detection there. We're going to push up. Again, we're still defending the cap. We, we can't really... We're not in a position to push the cap. Yeah, there's a single permanent fire. Gonna try and get the back guns on him. We're already in full reverse. I'm gonna stay right here just for a moment. Actually, might move up just a bit. So not move back so, we're back, so we're not in true danger of getting blasted by him. And we're also... We're not targeted right now. Go ahead and move up. Yeah, lost detection there. Try and maybe get some on the... little trick you can use is, is aim through the front gun so you can see a little bit better. Okay. So the Synop, Synop just got punished. We're going to uh, make sure that we don't get torpedoed. No destroyers in this game, so we don't really need the uh, Hydros. Yeah, there's the torpedoes. I knew he got him off. For some reason, people that play German battleships this aggressive always... They, they just think that you have to get torpedoes off. And, and that's the goal of in life is to just torpedo... Everyone, don't get me wrong, they're, they're a great benefit, and if played correctly, German ships can be absolutely devastating.
but if he's turning, we're going to try to make sure we're not spotted. We're going to be a little aggressive here. It looks like he burned his damage. Okay, so he's detecting us. No, he's just looking at someone else. There's no one else on this side, really, that can truly punish us. And we also have armed and ready. Again, to, uh, to let us know if we're being targeted. Got him off the board. Quickly switch targets. Kudasov. I'm letting the HE load. Then we're going to switch back to AP. He's giving us a broadside. Magi over there. Not a threat. I'm aiming at the upper belt here because even if you saw we were aiming, he's sailing away from us. So actually we need to aim a little higher and lead a little bit more. We need to capture A, 13. We have C captured and we need to go even out this side. Nice, there's some good AP pens. Shot down the plane here. We're rolling. Okay, we're actually going to switch to the Amagi. Amagi's pushing hard. Uh, okay, I switched the guns to this side. We're going to switch back. Yep. If the Amagi pushed there, we would have went up, but we're actually going to get a better firing angle on these guys. The Kudasov and the New Orleans. We need to support the Richelieu. He's gonna get, gonna get focus fired and, and died. Um, die, not died. Did I say died? Let's, uh, let's put some unrelenting firepower on the. Uh... Again, we're broadside here. As I've said before, get one more shot off. Maybe a couple will get through. Nice, got a fire there. You almost want to be broadside to those giant guns. It's uh. It's more of a benefit to to take these those overpens. They the, your armor's so thin they most likely overpen you. Um, but when you're doing some maneuvering and stuff like that, now they could still they could still punch you in the mouth. We got kind of caught here in the New Orleans, uh, but we can pretty sure we can tank his guns. Switch to AP because he had the broadside. Need to need to move back now. I was targeting us. This could be bad. Still got some pens and and uh, yeah, a lot of deflections there. But yeah, as you saw, all def all bounces, all deflections. We might, we might, we might be. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Like I said, it's almost better to be. Um, Much obliged. Pop our last repair here. Iowa, don't do your worst. Get that out. Come on, come on, come on. Back up. Go, go undetected here. Islands. We'll probably burn that damage too soon, but. Now we're going to let some, some friendlies take some of the fire here. Again, you're, we're pretty low health. We're getting lucky with these fires on RNG. 207 hits, 116,000 damage, and he's still burning. Uh, you know what? We're actually going to go to the other side. Let these guys kind of take over. Iowa needs to get in the va in the battle, as well as... Uh, how's the... This guy needs to get in the battle. He should see that... Uh, He needs to, to, to realize that he's doing nothing, unless he's AFK or disconnected. I've seen a lot of that recently. People get kind of disconnected mid-game. Hope I don't sound too nasally. Yeah, we're taking some time here, and again, we're, I'm not... It's three on six, maybe five. Is he moving? Looks like he is. I don't know. Um, but if he did not disconnect, he needs to realize that the battle is taking place over here now. And and get his ship in motion. I don't know this, this map too well yet, uh, so I don't think this island's going to be particularly good to, to go around. So we might just go out full speed and, and start kiting. You're not really a kiting cruiser. Uh, oh, no, no, there's a perfect island here. Okay. Hopefully they're not back there and can detect us, but if they are, we're just going to go full speed ahead and get nice and close to this island. But uh, we got some good cover here. They are detected, so... Oh, there they are. Actually going to go left. Oh, Colorado. Thank you for playing. Thank you for picking up the controller. After this salvo of HE, we're going to switch to AP, and it doesn't matter. He's dead regardless, but uh, of course he's actually turning. Switch back to HE. The AP on this boat is devastating. Uh, I, w I have a Yamato video where Cleveland just took away like 10, 20 grand. Uh, there wasn't much I could do. He was kind of island, you know, island hopping. Again, we're not being targeted. We actually went undetected there. We 
might get the kill. No, it's okay. Yeah, and I'm aiming low. I'm not trying to aim at the waterline with HE, but he's just gonna he's gonna walk himself, he's gonna sail himself into those shells. Uh, there's the Confederate. A nice little uh, uh he slowed down. And he sped up. He's doing well with the throttle, but we're gonna turn into him. The only way they, these guys can really beat us right now is, is uh, oh my goodness, Aaron, hit your shots! The only way he can beat us, they can beat us right now, is by burning us down. And there's too many ships. We have all three caps. So this is a W. You know, this is, this is what you want out of your uh, out of your Cleveland right here and your your cruiser players. I'm 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 trying to show. I'm trying to make a video here, guys. Can you work with me? These guys aren't going to work with me, so we're just going to stick with HE. Uh, as you can tell from earlier in the game, though, the H, the AP on that... Uh, I think I missed those. On that Indianapolis was brutal. The Citadel's there, a bunch of damage. I'm running Yamamoto right now. It's That's more for my Alaska build, um, but that will help. You've got that, what's called the surgical AP, turn into his shells. I'm not sure you're shooting AP. So yeah, minimal to no damage. I'm not sure if he hit us, but got him. Enemy cruiser destroyed. Did we get high caliber with that, or was that unsinkable or something, or fireproof, or rich loot, or... No, it was the dread Dreadnought. The top on the board, guys, 2,900 experience. We played really well. So did that rich loot. Shout out to him. Uh, yeah, again, Colorado, you need to move up. You had a good hit on that Iowa, but you need to just, you need to get a, a battle sense and just move up there. Uh, yeah, that's the Cleveland, ladies and gentlemen, though. Uh, you guys have seen this in multiple videos. When in the right hands, this ship is absolutely devastating. Uh, it's it's a brutal ship. The The fire chance is is unheard of. So we've got, what, 16% fire chance. you got 12 shells going every couple of seconds. And with the reload upgrade, uh, we take off the range, actually. Uh, you do lose a lot in traverse speed, but you get an extra 12%. So 12% of, what, 5 there is another half second. So down to 4.5 seconds, I believe. 4.6 uh, maybe. Someone told me 4.4. I don't think it goes quite that low. Maybe with some other Andrew Cunningham or someone else. Or Madden. Is it Cunningham or Madden? Cunningham. No, Madden. Jesus. Uh, you can get an extra, we don't have him up to 16 though, get a couple extra seconds. But uh, again, that's the video guys, thanks for watching. Got another one in the Cleveland, she's, right now she's my new favorite ship. Alaska hasn't been kind to me recently. I don't know if it's kind of these bum teams I'm getting, um, but the dispersion, I think, I, I, I think they did something to the dispersion. I, what I was getting when I was first playing her was ridiculous. So, uh, but that's okay guys. We adapt to the new metas, right now the HE spam is kind of the meta. Um, and and I'm, I know a lot of people aren't really happy with it, but it's don't sit in the back of the map and, and, and get spammed if you don't like the HE spam. You know what I mean? The, the, the days of sitting in the back of the map, bow tanking with your Iowa are over. Um, that, so you need to you need to adjust. It's the radar cruisers time and these kind of light cruisers with fast firing guns. And right now this is the best one. That's the video, guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys have a great day. I love you all. I'm out. Peace.